but I think I think that's that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's hard for me to say that because when I go everywhere, all of those attributes are the same. You know, like it's it's no it's no difference. You know, it's, it's no there's no difference in attributes. I can't. It's hard for me to say South Huntsville gives you this, and you know East Huntsville or North Huntsville gives you this. Like when you travel all of these places on a daily basis and you experience it. It's kind of like, I, it's hard for me to break down that layer to one side of town. I can only kind of speak from this is Huntsville. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, cause I, this person and this side of town, those are the same attributes. Like this place just don't offer it. East Huntsville just don't have it. Like, no, that's in, the, that's in North Huntsville too. Matter of fact, we need to connect these two attributes together so they'll know that they're the same to where we can kind of work at a, a higher level. So. It's hard for me to say that one side of town does this one particular thing, because uh, I just move around too much. So it's just all Huntsville to me. 10th Cameron Hill, yeah. my favorite. Uh, my grandmother, the street that's called Calvary Street was supposed to be Lucille Street. Lucille is my grandmother, and forgive me, I get emotional when I mention my grandmother sometimes, but um, that street, because uh, the history of the 10th Cavalry Buffalo Soldiers that was instilled in us during uh, segregation. So the schools taught us our history. So I felt, I felt special at 10th Cavalry Hill, at Cavalry Hill Elementary School. Uh, when we integrated, initially many of the teachers, they kind of let, let you know that they really didn't appreciate you being there. Mm -hmm. But at uh, Calvary Hill, because of the neighborhood, it was such a village. Uh, there was Mr. B. Moore and Miss Queen and Maddie Bell and Miss Fanny who looked after us. And even the drunks, you know, the winos down the street, they looked out for us. So it was just such a sense of community. We had Ernie's store down on the corner, uh, the blind man's store. These were folks in the neighborhood that looked out for you. And we um, just really appreciate that experience. I wouldn't change it for anything. I see the I see what's happening in downtown Huntsville adding a lot to the city, and mainly I see it adding options. So let's start with the hotels, for example. You have more hotel rooms, you have more opportunities for people to travel. So you have a direct connection to the tourism industry. You have a direct connection to conventions that um, may want to come to the community that are going to need hotel rooms. So you have that automatically happen as a consequence of that. Uh, everybody has gotten so now where they have um, hotel cards and you know you can earn points and things like that on those cards and so you know if you have your favorite hotel close by you have that option to be able to exercise that. Um, some of the hotels that are being done in Huntsville are being done in interesting ways like I think the Hampton downtown was done in an interesting way. I think the autograph being built next to Big Spring Park is it's fascinating even watching them build that. Uh, when the AC Hotel was built, it was fascinating. I drove by there um, recently and I was thinking, the Holiday Inn used to sit here? Listen to Hello Huntsville podcast today on all your favorite podcast platforms. <laughs>